Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Luke, and on this channel, I do talk about houseplant care and houseplant design. And today, I want to show you how I built my own propagation wall so you can get some inspiration for your propagation station. <laughs> so, have fun. The beautiful thing about a propagation wall is that you can express your entire creativity. Building a propagation wall is a wonderful project you can make with your kids or your beloved one to give your home a very unique, refreshing and vibrant tone. To give you a direction where we'll be going today, I'll start by informing you about which plants can actually live in water only. We will then move over to the tools you will need, followed by the instruction, which is fairly easy, so no worries, and we will end the film with maintenance, or in other words, how to keep these little plant babies healthy and fresh. These plants can survive in water only. Spider plants, monstera plants, trachena plants, pileas, philodendrons, peace lilies, money plant, string of hearts, and photos of course, and wandering juice. If you freshly dump your plants into the water, don't worry if they don't root immediately. This can take weeks or even months, so be patient. Now for the tools. You will need a drill, a force in a bit, and a cordless screwdriver and a hammer. If you decide to install your bars as I did, then you will need the suitable dose as well. Now, I found my bars at my DIY market. I do recommend getting them there as they are really inexpensive and raw. Raw? Because you then can paint them to your liking. As I wanted to add another dimension of colour to my bedroom setup, I chose my goni as a colour and let it dry overnight. Just make sure to leave the window open as the smell is rather intense after you glaze the wood. Now measure out the height of the bars, drill the holes and attach the mounting to the wall. Then place the bars on top and screw them together. I wanted to use bars with different lengths as I found it a nice idea. The easiest DIY method to get those perfect holes is to use a force in a bit. Here in Germany they cost around 15 euros so they shouldn't be that more expensive where you live. What is important is that you want to measure out the diameter of your glass containers or your test tubes before and then get the suitable force in a bit. Because trust me, there's nothing more frustrating than drilling the holes and then finding out that your tubes don't fit. The tubes I got are from Amazon by the way, link is down in the description and some are from Ikea. When it comes to the instructions, you want to start out by measuring your perfect height and then the distance between the tubes. First I started out by measuring them out and then I just eyeballed them because trust me, you won't even will notice if they are perfectly distanced. Promise me. Uh, Mr. Jack Rodney, uh, this test tube here is a millimeter too far away. Yeah, yeah, please fix this within the next 48 seconds. Yeah, thank you. Now, before we come to the maintenance of your plants, I really want to encourage you to be creative at this point. You can hang additional plants to the bars, add terracotta pots, ropes, extra vases or glass containers, hang strings around your tubes. I think what makes a propagation wall really unique is how you pay attention to the details. So feel free to add anything you like. For maintenance, you want to change the water one to two times a week. Also make sure that no leaves are in the water, otherwise they will rotten. For the string of hearts, for instance, I do cut off a few leaves so that only the string comes into contact with the water. By the way, if you want plants that can stay fully in water, then head over to my underwater garden, which at this point is at 7k views. Guys, thank you so much for everyone who has watched, liked or commented. Now, when the plants root, you can either plant them into your soil or just leave them in the water as they are. All these plants are able to adapt to its new environment. However, you should keep in mind that most plants develop their roots during spring, summertime, therefore you do have better chances of surviving from April to August. With this all set, you should be all set for your own beautiful propagation ball. So, stay healthy with Luke.